so the next one is the solar plexus. Um, I'll start with this one because I have it defined and you have it uh, open and so we can really have a back and forth on, on our different experiences here. Um, and for me, because I have it defined, it's my inner you know, authority. Yes, from the moment you have the solar plexus defined, which is about 50% of people, you, it becomes your, your inner authority by, by default because it, it takes over and, and that in itself says a lot. This emotional wave, when it's there, when it's activated, it just tends to overshadow everything else. And so that's why um, so much of the wisdom when having a defined solar plexus and having riding those emotional waves on a day-to-day -day basis is learning to wait learning to just ride those waves and, and understanding that there is no definite truth when it comes to this emotional center. It's really that and to not, even though it's difficult, to not take too seriously whatever is happening and whatever you're feeling in the moment and understanding like, okay, like an hour from now, I'm probably going to feel different already. And so to really not, and, and now we're tapping a little bit into the, the, the inner authority field of things. But again, everyone who has a defined has this on inner authority. So it's really learning um, to take our time with decisions, learning to not, you know, if we take, for example, the example of a relationship, don't commit to it immediately and also don't break up when you're feeling emotional. Yes, whether you enter it or exit it, don't, don't try to do this thing uh, to, out of like emotions. And so it's really, and that's something that I've applied to my own life so much, is really to wait until I feel much more emotionally neutral and, and to make decisions from this place. And then again, we're talking about the, the spleen. I'm able to feel on a deeper level also of, um, of, of what's going on. And there's also a gift to this. Like this, I know f probably from the perspective of, of an open solar plexus, like, oh, I wouldn't want to ride those waves all the time, you know, but there's, it gives a lot of richness to life. It gives a lot of colors. It gives a lot of intensity. And again, it's, the solar plexus is, is, is rather unique because it's both an awareness center as well as a motor center, as well as an energy center. And so it's also a source of energy. I noticed like as a, as a projector, being a non-sacral being, having that defined solar plexus can give me, and I also have the ego, which we'll talk about, but it gives me sometimes that extra oomph you know, that I need, and it's coming from this, from this more like astral kind of emotional energy. Um, but you have it open. So I'm, I'm curious of, of your experience there. Well, it's, it's quite different. It's imagine having an open solar plexus is like living on an open plain. You know, it's, it's quiet. You can hear the birds and, and everything is, is just, I don't want to say flat, but it's quiet. You know, you have some, some things happening, some a breeze going through the forest and you hear the, the rustling of the leaves. But it's really when someone with a defined solar plexus comes into your life that you feel like, oh, how much of a big difference it is. You know, it's like, oh, wow, that was a strong emotion, you know, like a strong wave of something that is not usually there in my yeah. life. Um, and it can be really intense to navigate, uh, especially if you are not aware of human design, that you're not aware of conditioning and you think it's you. And you have all these foreign things coming back and forth in your life. You're like, why am I feeling like this? You know, and you might even try to find a logical reason to say like, why I feel sad or angry or whatever. And sometimes you don't have it. You don't find it, that reason. And you get into these loopholes in your mind, like trying to figure it out. Uh, so having this awareness that you are very conditioning and amplifying the, the emotions from the outside is very important when you have it open. Uh, because that calm landscape that you're usually in gets again disturbed, let's say. Yeah. Or uh, rattled uh, and one of the big shadows here uh, is the fear of confrontation you know because you don't want to feel that strong emotion you tend to shut down to not communicate not enforce your boundaries not say things that you wanted to say or confront your boss or a friend or your lover or whoever uh, and you and you tend to, to repress yourself to shut down why because you don't want to feel that that emotional whiplash you know like yeah. that whoosh, you know when someone has this this defined emotions and I can totally reflect that on, on my past relationships you know some part of the relationship I wasn't happy with or something like that and I didn't want to say anything because I knew that person was gonna get angry or emotionally tense and I, I, I don't want to feel that yeah you know so this is this is one of the big shadows like staying away from emotionally intense situations basically yeah yeah, yeah it's at the root of it, for the, for the open solar plexus, is a certain, 
I don't know if I would call it emotional insecurity, but it's for lack of a better word. I don't know what else I could put in there, but basically emotions tend to be really overwhelming for the nervous system of the open yeah. solar plexus. It's like literally like it's like your structure, your body doesn't really know how to handle strong emotions. Um, and so, well, the two shadows there, you mentioned one of them, like there's, there's always going to be two reactions at the shadow level. And, and, and one is kind of like the passive shadow, which is, again, to stay away from emotionally intense situations, to stay away from speaking your truth, from enforcing your boundaries, staying away from confrontations and arguments and really wanting to keep the peace as much as possible, basically, you know, uh, which often can lead to even more emotional backlash in, 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 in the future. Um, and also, on, on that same kind of repressive, passive shadow, um, telling yourself the story, it's kind of like putting a, a wall of ice around the so solar plexus and being like, I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like t telling yourself the story that you, you are a very emotionally cold person and that you just don't feel anything, basically. And it's kind of like a protection so that you don't have to feel. And the other side of that, the reactive, uh, side of the shadow is actually to be completely and I have examples in my life of open solar plexuses which tend to they are the most emotional people I know they they as soon as they feel something they get so overwhelmed by it and they get so dramatic about it and they really allow and that's one of the main traps is like once you allow the mind to add a story onto the emotion it's it's already fucked because you're you know you basically get a strong emotion uh, emotional wave coming through you and instead of just feeling it and letting it pass, well, the mind is not comfortable with just feeling something that, that's so, you know, and so the mind needs to have a justification. And so it either needs to be my fault or it needs to be someone else's fault. That's usually the, the story which, which happens. It's either gonna be self-blame or blaming someone else. And once the mind gets involved, it's already completely distorted. Mm -hmm. It's already a different story, you know. And so th the usual advice for people with this open solar plexus is to, to learn the art of just emoting without the mind to just feel things deeply and yes you can ask yourself like is this mine is am i just feeling someone else's emotion but the real thing is just to feel you know the, the ability to have an emotion come through and out you know and art this art of like emotional alchemy in a way to feel feel deeply and then you just you know send it back out basically but not onto someone else that's the danger you know usually it's like and, and I've noticed this, like, it's like me being a defined solar plexus. If I'm angry and I throw this anger at an open solar plexus, it's going to come back at me twice as strong usually, you know, especially when this person starts having, like, stronger boundaries and so on. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot to this, to this uh, openness. And it's like learning over time to, to feel kind of stronger. The same as, like, you can go to the gym and lifting, like, heavier and heavier weights is the same you can really train your nervous system train your physical structure to handle stronger and stronger emotions mm -hmm. and sometimes someone might be very comfortable with sadness and then but when it comes to anger for example like their body really cannot ang handle the fires of anger and so they might get like really angry inside and it's going to come out as tears because that's all they know how to do basically so yeah there's a lot to do there but eventually you know, all openness is meant to become an area of wisdom and mastery. And, and so, and, and the gift also of the openness is, is emotional empathy, you know. So it's, it's not something that can be avoided. It's, it's really something that, that has to be uh, learned and, and mastered over time. Of course. And felt more than anything, yeah. you know, because we usually go into patterns of solving, of, of wanting to get rid of the emotion, especially the open, the open uh, centers or going into the mind to try to explain it or blame someone or yeah. yourself as you just said. Uh, so sometimes it's just a matter of feeling that wave and knowing that that wave is not yours and just let it pass and feel it. You know, and, and that's pretty much And it. sometimes it is, like sometimes, or sometimes it does trigger something inside of you, you know, because it's not like an open solar plexus doesn't have yeah, any, but, but it's, yeah, it's really that, it's just feeling. And then there's a big lesson there, I think, especially for, for people, you know, and, and both of us can be quite like that so being you know we like to use our minds a lot with a lot of things and i think there's a great lesson in just feeling mm -hmm. you know just just feeling and that's it yeah